What's up, everyone? Ultima Gaming here, back with some more until dawn. Alright, so, from the last part... Okay, see, now... Now, this is only seven characters. Okay, no, this is the eight characters. Okay, so this is what it's gonna be. Because, obviously, I'm Sam, and then there's the seven other characters. Alright, alright, so, yeah, I, I'm positive I'm supposed to have those two die. You can use the red stick to move the camera. Alright, so I'm now playing as Sam. That's part where we had the two people die, and I don't think my decision actually mattered. I think it was just... The gate what? busted. Climb over. Okay, I'm going to climb over here. <sighs> Got it. Woo! I just know that'd be really shitty to die, like, because you didn't quick action it. Like, somebody, like, come over right behind you. I know this guy's sitting here watching me. Oh, hey little fella. You hungry? Huh? <laughs> me? Okay. That was weird. I'm like, what do you mean? Don't move. Like, what the heck? I can look at my current objective by pressing R1. Head to the cable car station. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing I'm trying to head. Okay, so I'm forced to look at that. <laughs> cool. Death, black butterflies, danger, red butterflies, warned or dangerous event. Loss, brown butterfly foretold of tragedy affecting friend. Guidance, yellow butterflies offered vision to help and guide. Fortune, white butterfly, brought dreams of luck and good. Oh, I guess I could have just looked at this. Okay, so. You, as you picking up a tongue and turning it will reveal a colored butterfly and a premonition of a possible future. Okay. Oops. Black butterfly. Okay, so that was death. Or no, that was guidance. Okay, so a crow. Hmm. Yeah, that, that was her death. Okay, so this is something. Okay, so what am I gonna get at this? The crow. Something to do with a crow. Okay, was that, that could have been the crow. Chris, you here? Bag's here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you?
Chain, okay. Sam, hey, you made it. Chris has a crush on Ashley. Protective, humorous, and myth. I don't even know what that's supposed to say. Like how it's supposed oh, to be so said. I found something methodical. Amazing. Methodical. I think that's what it's supposed to be. I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. It's gonna blow your mind. Victor. Anyone? Looks like someone thought so. Oh, come on. It's place of Phantom most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Alright. Ta da! Pretty rad, right? So basically, we're trying to figure out. Like, solve uh, current, uh, like, mystery. Not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of the ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. All right, here goes. Okay, so... Wow, nice shooting tips. Alright, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild cape of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Butterfly effect updated. Update. Okay, so I haven't seen that crow anywhere yet. Man, it is it's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear. Yeah, hey, that's weird. The door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. Creepy. supposed to do. And I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. What a crazy place Someone to Someone join the party. Mountain. No matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. Family bought a mountain. Andrew joined the party. Alright, so what's going on here? Is this. How do I call the car? It's already no, come. Stay um, I didn't. I didn't know that. Okay. Just 
like going to the prom. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I kind of be worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. I still want to know when this crow's gonna come. Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front. I was sitting. Okay, so? So, I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her train bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Yeah, that's what this game's gonna be based on. The butterfly effect. What happens now, it's gonna affect later and all this crap. And I feel like all my people are gonna die. I don't know why. I just got a bad feeling about me playing some... Oh, Jess. This is Mike's new girlfriend. She's confident, trusting, and irrelevant. Irreverent. Okay, I thought I said irrelevant. I'm like, what? That sounds messed up. Irreverent. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Okay. I'm gonna look around, see if I can't maybe find some kind of clue. Because maybe there's another totem pole around. I don't know how long this game's actually supposed to be. What oh crap! Jess, hey, Jessica, over here. That actually uh, kind of scared uh, me. I wasn't expecting nobody to just really weird stroke. We're smack in the freaking the window or whatever. Please let us out, pretty please. All right, let go. Oh my god! I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. So I'm playing as her. Mike and M Slit were together. Whoa, drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the library. I'm getting tired of all this. That is such dick. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh, Sam? <sighs> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Ooh, uh, Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable uh, car no. ends? Emily, Mike's ex. She's intelligent, resourceful, and persuasive. I feel like those are going to come in very handy, like like probably groups. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend, motivated, ambitious, and active. You know. And where's the bellboy when you need one? All right. Get 
some chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Oh, Jesus! Holy crap. <laughs> Didn't jump to that one as much, but. Intelligent, driven, and persuasive. Alright. <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right Dude, there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, <sighs> just a little harmless fun. Go out in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Huh. So, okay. This is him talking. He said, well, okay. Michael. I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward. And we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. We're cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back on the trip. All right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. So now my plan is him. Nope. What's my plan is these two? Crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Em. I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you oh, have no. to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Um. Okay. Fine. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. Okay. I'm not sure what these little things are doing, because, like, it's just, like, such little things, but, you know. Butterfly effect's gonna happen eventually. And who are you? <gasps> Ashley has a crush on Chris. He's academic, inquisitive, and forthright. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. I'm not in the friend zone kind of way. I might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Oh! oh God. <laughs> hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare you. Man, they keep throwing these jump scares scare out. You, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with those things? Uh, it, Let me check it out. It, uh, yeah, it's kind of busted. It's not. It's not like it, really interesting. It's just. What? For real? I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a box or something. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> He's really insistent. I mean, uh, this is, I don't know which one I should choose, should I agree, yeah. Screw it, I'm gonna go. Uh, sure, help yourself. 
Just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. Matt. He deserved to know. That's that's messed up. She's moving in, but I mean, she also knows what she could be doing. Jessica. I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Great. <laughs> hey, you know that? <laughs> Snowball fight? You losing, boy. Uh, hello, <laughs> come on. Hey, Mike. Boom, shakalaka. Okay. Oh, you got me. <laughs> you can't hide from me, Michael. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing. Man, they're, they're just throwing so many no weird more. things at you. Sometimes do nothing. It's the right thing to do. Is that bird moving? That's that's the freaking Done. outcome. Done so did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. My my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica, the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Hmm. Ah! Oh, okay. Okay. I've seen horror movies. What am I this this get? goes where I think it's gonna go. Well, You're both gonna die. I can think of it at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Okay. Jesus, this part's gonna be very long because they won't freaking stop. Just, they can't actually like move around yet. It's all been decision making. Oh, then we got this guy gonna come back and talk to us. Hello again. And how are we? Feeling pretty confused on what's gonna happen. In our last session, we established that you have a fear of things. That are dead or undead. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Uh, okay. Women or men wearing? What? what kind of question is this? 
Uh, I, I I don't even know what the answer is. Yeah. I I don't know. Crowd scare me or plane scare me? Um, well, I've never been on a plane, so I don't know if I'm actually scared of them. I just never had the opportunity. Crowds, I mean, nothing, neither of these actually scare me, but if I made say plane would scare me more. I fear heights or drowning. Um, I think I fear heights more than drowning. Rats or snakes? Well, um, I don't really fear snakes. I love reptiles, so I'd be more scared of getting some disease from a rat than anything. Okay, so a knife. Guns are scary or knives are scary? I'd be more scared of a gun than a knife. Rats or cockroaches? This is so weird. It's not scary to me. I mean, sure, gun versus a knife, that makes sense, but rat or a cockroach? I fear a rat more than a cockroach. This guy's not saying anything. Clowns or scarecrows? Um. Well, I mean, you can give me that looking clown, maybe. So I'll go. Don't say I don't fear scarecrows. Crows or a gore? What the? That's a gore. What the heck is that? I fear that more because I don't know what it is. Oh. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Jump in love. They like to throw a lot of jump scares at you. Try to speed up. The more you rely on your instinct, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay, so he wants me to try to be faster. I don't fear needles. So I'm going to beat that. Zombies or clowns. I mean, as much as the zombie apocalypse would be pretty cool to be in, but... I don't know what a gore is, but I don't fear dogs. I really don't know what a gore is. Storms or a gore disgust me. Does it mean blood? It's like, I don't, like, I'm thinking it's trying to show this, like... This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Spiders, zombies, an awful. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. I, I'm, I still don't know what the point of these sessions are. They seem very weird. Okay. Yeah, hey, blah, blah, blah. Previously on, on Until Dawn. Well, as far as I know, nobody died yet, so... Woo! I mean, obviously those two guys. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with you. 
each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. I feel like this mountain gets Dark. bigger every time I climb it. Nine yeah. hours until dawn. The same to me. Josh, Hannah and Beth's brother. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey guys, get up here okay? Yeah, well, more or less, but it was so good to see you. What's up with him? Yo, 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 you get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. So, I, so far I've only seen Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant it. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want us to have a good time, you know? Like, he looks like he... Like, that guy looks like uh, an actor I know, but I can't think of who it is. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's got to be, like, a window around the corner we can get, like... Get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Hey, Ash. Hi, Chris. So be confident. I'll be confident. So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Okay. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're not going to bang her, maybe Michael take up the case. Wait, will you back off on Relax. Already? Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Yeah. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley, alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Hmm. See, I, I, I know how these horror games are, but I don't know. Should I agree? Huh, this is... See, I'm thinking of the horror game. Like, how would this go? Hmm. These are very tough decisions. Uh, maybe you're right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? That's, right, I'm guessing that was just to talk to him. You better deliver, Coach. Or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh shoot, nobody likes cold buns.
Thanks. Damn, I'm getting pretty low in juice here. Uh, I should have turned off my GPS. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. Let's hit that again. attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Oh. Did I do that? I don't, I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. Well, what, what is it? Okay, so... I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I got gotcha. you. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and push. Bye-bye, frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope. Oh, that just sounds. That, that just sounds very dangerous. All right. Well, anyways, everyone, this is where I'm stop for this part though. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. So I'm gonna upload the next part.